what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i will make another video like yesterday because after i made the video uh, many people were asking me and before also some people were asking me that it's great to know that we are improving yes as i said in the earlier video 10 signs that you are doing great fantastic wonderful amazing out of the world <laughs> but at times we may not be like that yes so sometimes we may be on the other side and we may still think that we are doing amazing all right so what are some of the uh, symptoms indications or signs which tell that we need help we need counseling which means things are not very fine all right so this video is for those who had requested me for that and uh, if you feel that everything is fine you don't need to watch this video then don't watch this okay this is not required for you but some but some of you who have been going through some difficulties and some good times and you are confused should you approach a counselor or a guru or somebody who you can reveal your problems and then take guidance this video is for you okay so uh, i'll give you 10 signs and you can check them and then you can uh, notice is it required or not or you are just hallucinating in your mind all right now some of these symptoms will be present in each one of us to some degree to some extent to some level but uh, if all of these symptoms are present in us to a very considerable amount of time or uh, amount or if somebody else is telling us that uh, all these things are there in us all right then we probably need help we need to seek counseling we need to seek guidance all right so there can be some strong things in this video so if you uh, only like to hear sweet things then probably you should consider walking away from this video all right all right so india before i begin as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you know if you need counseling all right there you go and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you are unsure about somebody or if you want to know if somebody needs help then you can direct this video to them okay so what's the first sign that you need help you need counseling you need guidance the first sign is you are unhappy inside there is a gut feeling inside you which says that you need to go and talk to a counselor all right some serious problem is there there's there's this inner feeling yes and this is not some small thing like okay my wife is shouting at me or my husband is angry at me or my boss is shouting at me and then you go and call a friend this is not like that but if there's something serious which you feel inside is bogging you yes then you need counseling the gut feeling never lies all right as they say that the inner voice is the voice of the parmatma so if internally you feel that you need counseling then probably you need it because the inner voice doesn't lie all right what is the next sign that there's some problem <laughs> you always hurt others knowingly or unknowingly and so people don't like you at times all right so in the mahabharat we have the uh, example of yudhishthir maharaj yes 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 he is the crest jewel he is the epitome of all the virtuous good noble and beautiful qualities which any man can have man or woman and uh, that is why one of his name was ajata shatru ajata shatru means one who never had any enemies or one who uh, was never considered to be an enemy by anybody yes ajata shatru has many meanings so he was unanimously loved by all so but if uh, you go on hurting people yes and people say or people will not say you directly but you will hear it from the uh, mouth of some others yes that oh that this person doesn't like you one or two people doesn't like you that's fine there can be people who uh, doesn't get along with us yes so some people can be there but that's fine i'm not saying that we have to be good with everybody but if major if the major uh, group of people feel that they are unable to uh, stay with us or unable to gel or understand us or we are not able to uh, build a tuning with them then probably there's something wrong we have either too many expectations because of which uh, when we try to project them to the other 
people that doesn't get fulfilled and then you speak badly or you behave in ways which people don't like all right so if you feel in general people do not like you like when i was working in cape gemini in that time there was one person he was a gujarati <laughs> and nobody used to like him all right so i am talking of those category uh, i am not talking of people in general here if you belong to that category then probably you need help all right now was the third sign the third sign is you like to gossip yes like uh, in my school days there was one person who used to tell me that whenever anything happens in the school i am the first one to be informed <laughs> of course i didn't tell him but why everybody comes and informs you at the first place why because you are the gossip monger of the class right <laughs> everything comes to you at first yes because everybody loves to gossip with you because you love to gossip with everybody yes oh uh, who is having an affair with whom who got the promotion how did that person get that uh, 15% raise i am working from 3 years here why he got why she didn't get why i didn't get why she got <laughs> oh Uh, the my ex girlfriend is getting married to this person but uh, the the wife of my ex boyfriend is less beautiful than me so i'm very happy right i have seen girls uh, rejoicing by seeing the girlfriends of their ex boyfriends because they don't look that great uh, like they think themselves to be like yes so then they rejoice very much so if we love to gossip yes talk about unnecessary things like politics or who won the cricket match yes or which cricketer is having an affair with which film star these kind of examples if you do not have any higher inquisitiveness about god athado brahma jigyasa then probably there's something seriously wrong yes so then we need help what's the fourth sign you are unhappy when you see others exceeding you my 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 this is too much <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would, I would use Hindi here. वो कैसे आगे निकल गया मेरे से उसकी क्या औकात है उसको जानता था मैं आई न्यू हिम आई न्यू हाउ ई पास दिस एग्जाम यस ही गिव सम मनी और ई चीटेड यू कैनॉट टॉलरेट अदर्स बिकमिंग सक्सेसफुल नाउ यू मे डू सो मैनी थिंग्स इधर यू मे सिट एंड नॉट डू एनी थिंग विच इज़ लाइक लेवल जीरो और you may go on uh, uh, criticizing them or gossiping about them unnecessarily yes or you might directly go and confront the person or do things to pull that person down yes company politics government politics politics in so many organizations so if you feel terribly unhappy you feel that there's a big arrow which has struck you if you see some other people exceeding you yes then probably you need help because in the scriptures it is said a great soul a paramahamsa is para dukha dukhi that means when a great soul a mahatma sees other people unhappy he feels very unhappy but if you are becoming a para sukha dukhi <laughs> then you need help para sukha mean para means other sukha means happiness dukhi means uh, yourself you are miserable so if you see somebody got something which you didn't get which you were wanting and then you become unhappy that means uh, you need serious help you need counseling okay what is the next symptom you are happy when you see others behind you this is the other side of the story yes oh i got the promotion finally i knew i will make it yes because i am the best that's okay you may be the best but that doesn't mean you see those people who didn't get in a inferior way yes so if you feel uh that uh, you are very uh, happy when you are seeing that others are behind you yes or when others can't make it till your level when you if you rejoice in that very much then you need counseling because then um, then you are becoming para dukha sukhi <laughs> so others are unhappy then you are happy yes so that is also not very good so if that is the case ideally what should happen is when you see others succeeding you should be happy and when you see others behind you you should also feel unhappy you should feel sorry for them yes what's the next thing that uh, says that you need help 
you are terribly addicted to things like sugar alcohol pornography masturbation or things like prostitution also any sort of addiction now if i say this then people will say oh no i smoke only once in a week no it's not very strong so i am not an addict but the question is if that is such a minor thing that you smoke only once in a week or once in a month then why don't you give that up also no you can't because you are addict but you don't want to admit that right so you will say oh no 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 actually it is not addiction i'm just taking once in a week yes that's fine and so many people i know my god sugar addiction it's rampant the other day i was talking to somebody and uh, that girl she told me that the moment she was talking with me she finished a big cubicle of chocolate i don't know that's called q or cubicle or that it's like big things she finished <laughs> I'm like, man, seriously, <laughs> you need help, man. <laughs> All right, what's the next sign that there's something seriously wrong? You neglect those people who value you. You take things for granted. Yes. Oh, this person is messaging me. I will reply whenever I want. These people are always there. <laughs> yes. Anyways, they are not going to leave me. So why should I give too much weightage to them, right? why because they are there after all i don't need uh, to worry about them yes they are, god has given them to me so they will stay with me if this is your attitude well then you seriously need help you need counseling because whatever is taken for granted will be taken away take it in writing whatever you take for granted will be taken away one day okay <laughs> so if you neglect those people who value you and take them cheaply yes then you are in serious trouble sir please approach a counselor or a guru what's the uh, eighth thing that shows you need help <laughs> this is the story of all the boys and girls of today you run behind those who do not value or like you should i repeat you run behind those who do not like you why you are doing that because you are desperate you are so desperate you are dying out of desperation yes so generally boys will call me and tell that oh i am messaging this girl she is not replying she's she's showing too much of an attitude yes i don't know from where this word attitude has come yes <laughs> so uh the girl is not messaging you but you are still going on messaging sorry the girl is not replying to you forget forget about messaging you no she is not even replying to you she is least concerned about you she doesn't give a damn about you and you like a useless piece of potato useless piece of garbage you are going on messaging that girl oh my god very strong words here stop it sir she is not going to reply all right but you are not going to do that you will still message those people who don't like you yes and you will ignore those who like you yes that was the previous uh, symptom what's the ninth thing that shows you need help or you need counseling you are always ungrateful to whatever good you get in life you have zero gratitude gratitude is like in minus <laughs> always complaining this is wrong that is wrong this is not there look at that person he is so happy she is so happy yes and whatever you have you never feel happy you never feel satisfied you never feel good so if that is sounding like you then probably you need help all right so please approach a guru or a counselor if that is the case what's the last sign this is opposite of the last sign of the previous video the previous video's last symptom was you can sleep peacefully in the night or you get sleep early so this symptom for this video is you don't get sleep you were suffering from insomnia there is some serious problem yes insomnia i am not meaning that uh, disease which is there in people but in general you can't sleep your mind is like things are going haywire you're feeling as if oh life is very bad life is terrible so if that's the case when you plan to sleep you don't get sleep you are watching pornography in the night you are watching things like game of thrones you are watching movies when it's time to sleep after 9 o'clock after 10 o'clock now somebody will say no no but i reach office uh, reach home from the office at 11 o'clock how can i sleep at 10 that's okay at least sleep by 12 <laughs> but if you are reaching home by 6 o'clock from the office or 7 7:30 as many of my friends reach 
and then till 11 o'clock you are wondering when will i get sleep or if you are going out to see movies at night 12 o'clock yes and then you reach home at three o'clock there's some serious problems sir you are unhappy in life yes you have no goal no purpose no aim no direction and you are totally headless that means you need counseling all right so that's it from my side and my request to you is if all these symptoms are there and there are many more symptoms of this but these are some of the 10 things which i wanted to summarize so if you feel that all of these symptoms are there or some of them are there very strongly now as i said some of them will be there to some level in every every, every each one of us but uh, these principles these 10 things should not be the defining principles of our life yes they we should not be known for these things for example suppose uh the, the, you like to gossip the third principle which i said so the moment you hear this word gossip if you think of somebody yes oh that person always keeps gossiping that means that person comes in that group so we should not come in one of these 10 categories yes that means uh, we should try to elevate ourselves spirit spiritually by which we find in our happiness we as they say, na, Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha. The Guru will come and enlighten. Uh, Chakshur Unmilitam. Chakshur is eyes and Unmilitam is to enlighten. Yes. Om Agyan Timir Andhasya Gyanan Jana Shalakaya. Please, 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 oh my dear spiritual master, oh Guru, please dispel the blindness which is caused by the darkness of ignorance. I don't know what I'm doing in life. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, the Guru will come and dispel the darkness. So, in that case, you will be helped. Yes, as it is said that when the student is ready, the master shall appear. When the student is ready, the master shall appear. Because in the scriptures, it is said that by the grace of God, you get a Guru. And by the grace of the Guru, you get God. All right. So, if you have the desire to elevate yourself spiritually, then you will be materially also very well settled you will have a good direction in life and you will be known f as a person who is a visionary and who has a very clear cut uh, process and a thought process in his or her life rather than being confused or getting things done through others all right so that is it from my side i hope uh, i didn't speak much negative things here but some of you had requested me so I thought why not make a video on this yes so if you find that these symptoms are there then please approach a guru or a counselor all right i hope that uh, this benefits uh, whoever is watching this video and if you like this video then share it with somebody who you think uh, should approach a counselor okay or if you uh, are new then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website below okay until next time with another video okay bye bye see you